assalamu alaikum i hope you all are fine i am new on youtube and i am a dietitian so as my channel name shows we will talk about human nutrition and dietetics but before discussing any disease we will talk about that is its history pathophysiology causes symptoms and then we will come to diet your objective so without any further ado let's get started in my first lecture we will discuss about nutrition history Like since when nutrition is studied as separate course. So let's get started. Early nutrition research and medical education. During early nineties, researchers discovered the evidence about the importance of food component in curing deficiency diseases. The very first physiologist was W. G. Thompson. He expressed concerns about the absence of nutrition in medical education. At that time, dietary patients and nutritionists were not necessarily educated. In medical literature, basically there was only one or two lectures at the end of course when class was given. So W. Thompson said, "Patient should be carefully fed. A proper diet restricted diet is recommended." The next one is the golden age of nutrition. During first two decades of 20th century, nutritional physiologists Graham Lusk and Wilbur Atwater started investigations on food metabolism and energy requirement. They started like how the energy, like how much energy is required for the average human being. Then Sir Frederick posed the vitamin hypothesis, and in his hypothesis he said, rather than carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, other elements are also necessary for the balanced diet. and those elements those ingredients for vitamins he was talking about vitamins and casimir funk continued his work on vitamins and their deficiencies like which disease is caused due to vitamin deficiency the next physiologist is nc colum he wrote book new knowledge which was widely used in medical colleges in his book the seven chapters based on only nutrition related topics each were based on carbs fats proteins vitamins protein vitamins uh, minerals and then in 1934 mayer bunesky enlarged his second edition by 200 pages and in his second edition he discussed the topics of protein requirements the indispensability of fats and role of vitamins the indispensability we use this term when we can't live without that thing we can't live without fats fats are necessary for a balanced diet we will discuss about the importance of fats the whole digestion and absorption of fats in further lectures and then during 1920 to 1930s ascorbic acid has been isolated and synthesized ascorbic acid has been isolated by ascorbic acid also known as vitamin c and then linoleic acid was identified as essential fatty acid and other vitamins and minerals so here this is the mc colum's book and this one is bear budanski's book the introduction to physiological chemistry so these are the two books that i mentioned before let's move on to the next slide decline of golden age discovery of vitamin b12 so discovery of vitamin b12 should be the should be in the golden age not in the decline of golden age but what happened when pernicious anemia was discovered then the vitamin b12 deficient like it was discovered like the vitamin b12 is the cause of pernicious anemia when you get the deficiency of vitamin b12 you will get the pernicious anemia and then advent of food fortification and supplementation we use the fortification word to that compound which is modified like fortified milk in fortified milk vitamin b vitamin a and vitamin d is added and we use the word supplementation when we talk about the addition of something we use supplements along with our diet and sometimes people don't need supplements when they are healthily fit and the next point is not knowing role of nutrition in diseases the most of the physiologists were unaware about the role of nutrition in diseases and then the shift of interest in biochemistry in biochemistry basically 
basically biochemistry provided a detailed description of metabolism but a little attention gives to food sources same as physiology dealt with digestion and absorption but the nutrition requirement of human organisms were generally not emphasized in 19 during 1950s to 1960s nutrition was a low priority it again reduces its importance then we emergence emergence of nutrition education as in, an independent course which is still we are still struggling to make nutrition as in, in, independent course in pakistan there are only few institute that are offering the course bs human nutrition and dietetics and then the link of nutrition to etiology and disease prevention etiology basically it's the term that we use the, for the cause of disease that what cause what diseases then we use the word etiology so we are still working on to relate the nutrition to etiology and disease prevention we are still working on and in next lecture we will discuss about uh, dietetics history and also the difference between nutrition and dietetics so that's all for today's lecture thank you until then allah hafiz